Bonjour, bienvenue, je m'appelle Seppi. <coughs> Okay, I'm not going to try to do another intro. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Seppi and today is Friday! I really want to bring back that moment in my first few vlogs where Sol would jump into the beginning of my vlogs and be like, Friday, 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 Friday. You meant to say it, it was your thing. I know. Just say now, it. Wait, ow. But like now that. I've got... It's Friday night. Okay, I need to stop there. Uh, I always think when I'm, especially after two drinks, I hear. Wait, forget that. Has everyone seen this one? Oh my god, that one guy with the. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, no, we haven't seen it. So it's Friday. Me and Sol have. Sol and I. Sol and I have just come back from work. We both worked a long. Actually, we worked a short day because we worked eight a.m. till. I worked 8 till 4 today. I worked 8 till 5 today. What did you work? I uh, got to practice at 8, left at half 5. Yeah, so we worked a short day today. So we I are gonna go out. I have an hour commute each way. I have a 20 minute commute each way. Um, anyway, we are about to go out to dinner together. So exciting! We're gonna go for some Turkish food. I love Turkish food. So must love Turkish food. I love food. Um, so we're so excited. And I'm, I literally have just come out of the shower. My hair was so greasy. Like, I just, you know when you whack have on... Have you not got any makeup on? No. Oh, you're so pretty. Thank you, so are you. But obviously not as pretty as me because you need the makeup. <laughs> That's not true. I look better without makeup. I think you look better without makeup as well. That's bullshit. No, I'm trying really. to fake it till I make it. My skin has improved. Anyone who was watching my vlogs in winter time knows that I was struggling with the skin. So we are happy for her. She is very nice and clear. So, anyway, we're gonna go out to uh, dinner and you guys are gonna come along and- Did you just refer to your skin in third person? Of course I did, she is glowing. She's crazy. <laughs> no, she's not, she's beautiful. Not you. <laughs> As in not the, oh my God. How am I entertaining this? <laughs> okay, anyway, we're going out to dinner, but before we go, we just wanna say- I'm gonna wear the new shoes you got me. I'm gonna put my hand on Saul's bum and give her a kiss because apparently Matt Hancock <laughs> setting, setting the example out here. Anyway, has anyone seen that? If anyone's wondering what day I filmed this vlog, it is the day that the Matt Hancock news is all over the place. And the let's just sun. say, oh my some, God. Of, some of these memes actually have What's your me favourite? There's this one guy, uh, I've forgotten his name, but the Archbishop of Banterbury reposted his video where like he like made a rhyme where it was like, some girl's touching me and I'm not wearing PPE or something like that. It was something about like not wearing PPE and it just made me die. And, like, Everyone's like, you know, this is in Parliament. And then like there was another one where I was like, he's not holding on to her bum tight enough. <laughs> and I just don't feel like I can trust him. <laughs> I was like, what is the relevance of that? There are talks about What's your favourite one? I don't know, but there are talks about how he should resign. I don't know. So we're gonna go to dinner now and we will see you when I've got makeup on. So what a nice transition we made. Oh. Um, oh my god, it's the bad down the street. <laughs> Why does this make me laugh every time? Sol and I are driving while Sol's driving because I want to have a drink. And why not? And I think you should have a sip of my drink to see what the other half live like. What are you planning on drinking? Maybe a mojito, maybe a glass of rosé, mm -hmm. whatever I'm in the mood for. I'm limited on cocktails because of the fruit allergy. So that sucks a little bit. If you could have any cocktail though, what would you have? Okay, if I could have any cocktail, I remember I used to it's a porn star martinis and be fine with it. I don't know what happened, I suddenly became allergic to passion fruit. Um You're allergic to lychees. Yeah, but I never used to be. That again suddenly came about so long. Tell the vlog how good the octopus is. Guys, it was so nice. It was incredible. I love octopus and that was like as in I want like ten of them. So. I'm having a little mojito. I settled on a mojito. What did you think it'll be like? That's how I've had it previously in the 
scrambled, the bread crumbled on top, fried, and then yogurt and tomato. This has got yogurt and tomato. Time, Boohoo has actually sent me a ton of clothes to um, wear this summer. Thank you so much, Boohoo. And I thought I'd try it on for you guys. As I was like picking out clothes, I was thinking, do I actually have an aesthetic? Because I've actually discussed this with other friends, and I was like, what is my vibe? Like, if you're going to describe my style, what would it be? And literally, no one could come up with something. They were all like, yeah, you have really nice style, but like, if we were to put it in a category, we actually couldn't put it in a category. Do you know what I mean? So I think sometimes I like to dress really like cool, funky, like on trend, you know, stylish, whatever. Sometimes I dress really like casual, funky. Sometimes Sometimes I get really like dolled up to the nines and I like I have like quite like booby outfits or like legs out outfits. Sometimes I like dress really modest. I literally don't have a single style. I like like to think I'm a style chameleon. That is the genre. Anyway, so I'm gonna get into what I chose. I actually need to do the buttons um, up on this, but basically I'm just gonna show you everything tried on because I prefer to see things tried on than just someone holding it up and showing me. I'm just doing my buttons. But the first item is actually the shirt that I'm wearing now. It comes with matching shorts, and I've just tucked half of this into the shorts, and then the back of it is long, so it covers your booty, which I appreciate. Sometimes I don't actually want my butt to be hanging out in shorts. You know, it's a vibe. And then obviously you can wear this, you can wear these shorts with like a little white crop tee, or you can wear this shirt with denim shorts if you want it to look more dressed up and you want it to come out of this whole relaxed PJ vibe. I personally like the whole relaxed PJ vibe. Like I don't mind going out like this with some little white sandals, some cool sunglasses and just having like a little lunch with my girls, breakfast, a little middies. You guys know I love little middies. I would wear this there and it would look like I rolled out of bed but looked quite cool whilst doing it. So that is the vibe of this first outfit. Oh my God, I love this one. I literally love this dress so much. I have worn it for an Instagram picture and I adore it. It's such a hot girl summer little, looks like it'll be like very urban outfitters vibes. Do you know what I mean? Like you wouldn't think this is from Boohoo, which I think is quite cool, like uh, mixing up the stars and stuff. But um, I'm wearing it with a strapless bra, so I have to kind of like hold it up, pull it up a bit and tuck it into my bra. So you guys can't see, but it's kind of backless. And then it's got this like, uh, what do you call it? Like basically like tie around your neck style and then it's kind of like this very knit but fine knit material where you can wear it in the summer and absolutely not oil because that would be a nightmare but I really love this. I love the colour scheme of it all. I just think it's so cool and funky and I can't wait to wear it. I might even get Sina and matching one of this so that we can do like sisters matching outfits. Sina is like that with me, like she'll fully like wear matching outfits with me. I don't think I can convince Saul as often as I can convince Sina. Like Saul's down for it, but probably not as much as Sina. Like Sina actually actively wants to be my twin. This is the exact same dress, but in a different colorway, like a blue and pink and green. And I am obsessed. This with like yellow heels in summer and a tiny little yellow bag. Like I'm loving the colors for summer. And it's like a bit of a mini dress, I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm five foot two. So have that in mind when you order this. It could also be worn over a bikini if you're going on holiday. Mm. You know, there's a few more countries on the green list now. So um, yeah, this would definitely be so perfect for that. I love this. Okay, we can never ever go wrong with a little black crop top. Do you know what I mean? Perfect. Even with these jogging bottoms, I absolutely love this fit. I'd wear this with my little black Ugg sliders, maybe some gold jewelry, like some gold chains to spice it up, gold hoops, and maybe my hair not like this. I don't know what I was thinking filming with my hair like this. Oh well, it is what it is. But anyway, I absolutely love this. I just think it's such an easy throw on crop, but just not your average basic crop. This is something Hayley Bieber would wear, isn't it? With like a little blazer on top of there, some jeans and some little heels or even some trainers, like cool ones. Yeah, love it. You guys, if you've watched the Persian bunny haul or video or try on or anything, you would know I love pink. So this outfit is me to an absolute tee. I love this little skirt. You could wear this skirt in so many different ways. You can wear it as a beach cover up. You could wear it with a shirt to work. It's got these like really cute little like heart prints on it. I love it. And then this is a crop jacket. It actually came with a matching crop dress, which I forgot to order. But now that I've got it like this, I'm kind of loving it. I feel like I wouldn't have thought to style this as a crop top, but this as a crop top with like low waisted jeans and some cute little pink heels that you like strap up over it would look so hot. I absolutely love this. You always need a pink number, especially this season. I think pink is so in, um, but yeah, this is so cute. And the material is like really airy and comfy. So I got sent this top as well with the matching shorts. I have to actually cover this area because my underwear is very bright and it shows under the white shorts. When you wear anything white, just always be mindful that like it can probably show um, underneath. Oh my God, I actually can't cope with my hair. 
that's better oh my god so yeah just be mindful that you need to wear white underwear with white because usually white no matter what material i've had wolford dresses and the underwear shows so either go commando or make sure your underwear isn't multi-colored like me um but i absolutely love this like i feel like i'm ready for wimbledon with this outfit do you know what i mean oh my god my hair's got kinks in it i feel like i'm ready for wimbledon like it is wimbledon season i believe because everyone's watching tennis at work and i think that that's it looks like wimbledon so i'm ready for it and last up for clothes, oh my god, I think I might have saved my favourite tool last. It is this green maxi dress. I'm obsessed with this. Like, this is literally summer in a dress. I think it was literally like £6. But how perfect. It's like the softest, nicest material. It looks even better the more tanned you get in summer when you get glowing. And the weather is perfect, I think, for this right now as well. I just think, like, you can wear this with trainers. You can wear it with heels. You could spice it up, wear more jewellery, you could casual it, wear a denim jacket and you're good to go. So I absolutely love this one. I think it's just very, very versatile. And then last up, I wanted to show some sunglasses because it wouldn't be a summer try-on haul without some sunglasses. And I'm not gonna lie, Boohoo's sunglasses this season are actually banging. First one is this one, which everyone thought was Celine. It is not, it's Boohoo and I absolutely love it. This is literally one of those like, I'm hungover, get out of my face, CBA for you shades, like I'm actually obsessed, they're really funky, um, and they're like these really cool like tortoise -y kind of prints, really nice, I love them. Next, we have the aviators that are like from the Boohoo Tammy Hembro collection, and these are just very much like vintage -y style, like when you want to have like a cute little like bucket hat, vintage -y style glasses, little tiny white crop top, and de uh, denim jeans, like that would be my vibe to a T. So that is what I'm saving this one for. And then lastly, this has to be my favorite glasses. I wore this on my Instagram the other day and so many of you DM me like, where are these glasses from? I'm so obsessed. They're like these tortoise print, shell print, I don't know um, what you call them, but they are these square frame glasses and I just love them so much. They are literally like so diva, so cool and classy and fun. I absolutely love it. And I'm going out now, so I think this is like the perfect outfit. Maybe I'll just add on some jewelry and my watch and some sandals or actually maybe trainers and then i'll be good to go that is all the items um that i want to try on for you guys from boohoo thanks again to boohoo for sending them to me they also have a discount code for me to share with you which i'll put across the screen now hope that you guys enjoy your little summer shop on there if you buy anything send me a screenshot on dm i want to see what you guys are buying so i can take more inspo for my summer so we are in the clinic um, it is Saturday, it's no longer Friday. <laughs> we have a nice mix of um, procedures today, which I really like. Um, it's nice when you have like different stuff going on in the clinic. Actually, that being said, sometimes I like it when you have a lot of the same procedure back to back because it just feels like you're on a roll with it. Like by the last one, you're like pushing through. Um, but anyway, we when we finish, we're gonna hit Selfridges. So I will probably pick the camera back up there. But I need to give back these trainers that I got from Off-White, which I really just don't like. They were, I was obsessed with them, by the way. I wanted them for ages. They went in the sale. I got them, like, last pair. Like, literally went through so much trauma for them. And now I see them, and I'm like, you're actually not nice. So I'm going to go give them back. And hopefully not buy anything else from the sale and be a sensible girl. But I can't make any promises. Hub. Sala's just going to do some Botox. We're going to do crow's feet now. So we've come to return my items, but I just thought, how cute does Seoul look? These are the shoes I'm giving back, by the way. Well done. I'll show you them. They're like these pink off-white shoes. They're these pink off-white shoes, but the front of it was too wide and like too long. I just didn't like it, to be honest. So yeah, we're going to return these and then go downstairs and... <laughs> drop. Yeah, show your outfit again one more time. My dress is from Zara. My shoes are Kurt Geiger. I just think she looks very like easy, casual chic. Will you show my outfit? Zara, this is PLT. And these are boohoo's. <laughs> So 
I gave back those trainers, but instead were, went to LV and ordered a bikini top I really wanted. But it was the same price. So like, I'd already spent that money. I love how you're justifying it to yourself. It's because... I'm not gonna buy anything. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm trying to be a responsible adult, but like every month, something happens. I think it's good to treat yourself and this is the perfect I know for but it. sometimes I just but feel like personally I wouldn't take advice from me either. <laughs> but sometimes I feel like people make me think like 25 like what you should that? be looks like a Reebok Reebok X offspring I don't know. But yeah sometimes I feel like like people make me think like 25 oh my god you should have your life together like <laughs> <laughs> how would you love like oh my god like plan the future especially the people that i work with they're so like life is together and stuff um whereas i'm more like happy and free and go with the flow and i don't know so yeah that's why when i buy stuff of like you know everyone i work with is always like save 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 so that's why i'm justifying it but yeah gotta treat yourself well but not too often my Otherwise, friend's it's not godmother um, saved throughout her life so that when she retires, she could have a brilliant retirement. But obviously that money must have lost its value, no? Uh, not really. She got so mugged. She, no, no, no. She was NHS dentist, but like had her own practice, worked brilliantly. And then they also figured out that with the NHS pension, it used to be really good. They figured out that because her husband was older than her, they're going to opt for this option whereby after she dies, the pension just stops. So as soon as she retired, she got cancer and died. But that's why I really believe in like, you only live once and like you should live your life to the fullest and you really don't know what's around the corner tomorrow. So you should always do stuff that makes you happy, be with people who makes you happy, tell that guy you love him, tell that girl you love her, <laughs> get that job you want, enter Eat. people's vlogs. <laughs> Eat that food. Eat that food. Um, yeah, so that's what I've got to say. So, I'm just gonna go out for some brunch and this is my outfit. I really like this top. I didn't think I'd like it. I didn't choose it myself actually. One of my friends chose it when I was picking outfits and it's from Missy Empire. They sent it to me, I really like it. These joggers are Brandy Melville and these are my Ugg slippers and it's just super casual. I'm going for midis. I'm literally so monged out. I had an antihistamine for hay fever and it literally makes me feel like I'm in a daze. But anyway, everyone's already there waiting for me and I'm at home talking to you guys, so let's go. You know what? I'm like looking around my room and my cupboards are overflowing. There is clothes all over the floor and shoes. And I just feel like when your room is a mess, your life feels like a mess. And like my cupboard has become like a hoarder's cupboard again. My mum usually makes me empty it out. I keep looking at it, stop looking at it, Seppi, stop, because it's gonna stress you out. My mum keeps telling me to empty it out and stuff. And like usually she's like on it with me. She's like, come on, Seppi, give me clothes. I'll take it to Iran and we'll give it to people. And I'm always down for that. Where we haven't really been able to go to Iran because pandemic. Um, I've just not really had this urge to empty out my closet, which is obviously not good because your girl has overflow, like literal overflow. And then this morning, like the weirdest thing happened. I like had this delivery and it said like two that I'd missed and like the delivery like package parcel said like Dr. Seppi. And I was like, no one ever calls me like Dr. Seppi. Like I've never, and I've never like ordered a package and like called myself Dr. Seppi on it. Like I'd usually like call myself like my government name or something. So then anyway, like I was like, what the hell, who is this? And like, then I thought like, this is gonna sound so nice. I thought it was like one, like one of the people that I know. Like I thought it was this guy that I know. And I was like, why is he sending me mail? Like that is so odd. Um, and I was like, then like I had to go collect it from the post office cause I'd missed the delivery. And at the whole time I was going there, I was like overthinking. I was like, why is he sent me mail? What am I gonna text him to reply? Like all of this stuff. And I get that and it's a PR package. It was from a PR agency had given this brand my address. And on Instagram, my username is Dr. Seppi. How embarrassing. Anyway, it turned out to be really nice jumpers and stuff, which is why it's linked to this combo about my closet. Sorry, I'm like literally always on tangents and stuff. Cause I was like, oh my God, I've got like two new tracksuit sets and I just don't have space to put them anywhere. 
so I'm gonna have to figure my life out also can you hear my dad playing instrument sorry about that um i'm gonna end this vlog here i hope that you guys have enjoyed it if you did then don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe down below we have so many more fun vlogs coming up guys your favorite genre of my vlogs is coming up i know it's your favorite genre because you guys always tell me to film more of these so i'm so excited i can't tell you because i want it to be a surprise i like i'm never one of those fun youtubers who like has a surprise like oh my god i have an announcement coming i never have an announcement coming um so i just want like some surprise element and some excitement so woo, be excited subscribe put notifications on and be excited for what's to come because july is about to be the best month of our lives people we're gonna spend it together i love you so much and i'll see you next time